Hey everyone, welcome to a video of me explaining Grimdawn Stash, the application that you can find in the Grimdawn official forums in the tools and utilities section. I will have a link to this, to the program's thread um, in the description below if you want to go and pick this up. I use it for databases, for basically, um, I have so much crap in Grimdawn that like I need something like 12 mules to actually hold all of the all of the items I have. So um that's just way too ungangly for me. I got up to like 10 I think before I went and looked for an application like this. And um this is a hell of a lot better than actually having to like have 10 characters and transfer everything between them, like start character, let the game load, go get the item, because you have to walk a million miles to your shared stash, um, plop the item in, exit the character, get the new character, walk a billion miles to your shared stash, get it, etc, etc. This is pretty much just go in your database, pick the item, plop it in the stash, and then you're good to go. So first things first though, you have to configure it. And you do this under, predictably enough, the Configuration tab. So under General Settings, you have your Grimdawn Installation Directory. And this is going to be something along the lines of Program Files slash, or Program Files x86 slash Steam slash Steam Apps slash Common slash Grimdawn. That is the default save location for Grimdawn. Then you have to go to your Save Game Directory, and this is usually under your username, then Documents, My Games, then Grimdawn, then Save. And then you have your ARZ extraction directory, and this is just wherever you have Grim Dawn, or at least for me, this can be anything really. And I just have it going to where I keep my GD stash stuff. Um, pretty much the localization file selected mod, language, look and feel, font size, and graphic scale. Um, you can set these to whatever you need them to be. I don't even think I need a, you don't need a localization file if you're doing it in English. Um, you can pick your mod. Or no, wait, English or German or your languages. I don't know what the localization file is, actually. Never mind. I'm sure someone that actually knows what that is can say what it is. Or you could look at the uh, the forum page for it. These are the... Um, just the styles of the program. I just have it set to a default metal. Font sizes. Graphic scale. Um, so you have another setting set of settings here, which is restrictions. You can transfer items between softcore and hardcore if you want. You can transfer soulbound items if you want. Um, so, <laughs> allow completion bonuses. Uh, I don't know if this option even works or is applied to the current form of the game because completion bonuses aren't a thing anymore. But I mean, I guess the option's still there in case someone's playing an older version, maybe, or whatever. Um, and then allow blacksmith bonuses on all items. Uh, this is for... Um, I think the crafting, I don't know, I just don't use these because I want to use the legitimate game as much as possible. Um, and then obviously you can do invalid combinations and all sorts of things like that. Then you'll hit save settings and then you have this import database option. And this is for um, after you have all of this set up, you hit import uh, database and this will go to to the game basically and pull in all of the items from the game um, for the Grim Dawn stash database. So if the game ever updates, you pretty much just come in here and make sure these settings are correct and hit import database and it updates everything. I obviously don't need to do that right now, so we're just going to go over here to mass import. So um, yeah, you can set your import directory. I prefer doing it. I mean, I have that set up, but I don't really use that. I usually do it just as... Um, just do it manually because I tend to save my stash exports. Um, I I, where the hell do I put those things? Uh, yeah, stash databases. It's a .gds file. You can hit export database to get them out. And then you can uh, load a database in. So you can have multiple databases even if you really wanted to. But yeah, every time the game updates or this program updates, you go in here and do your configuration stuff. Come over here and do the mass import of the items. So that's getting everything set up. Now the other tabs are going to jump over to uh, stash transfer. So there are a couple things you can do here. So we got this page of items. 
and we can just click an item and hit copy to database which will keep the item in the stash then move it into your database you can hit move the database which just drops it in your your database and takes it out of your stash um, you can delete the item from your stash you can delete the entire page copy everything or move everything so let's say I want everything in my to put everything into my database I hit move the database and everything's in there um, and we hit save stash and that'll keep this saved the reload button up here you can actually do all of this live in the game so if you walk up to your stash with a character put an item in your stash you can you know alt tab over to this program hit reload and the item will be in here you just have to remember in the game to close close the stash window and then um, it will update in the database and likewise if you put something from the database into this stash window you have to actually not be in the stash in game in order for it to get updated and then what you would do is you hit reload after you put your item in here or take it out and it will um, basically reload the stash as it stands in the game now the search option up here you bring up the search page and um it's a pretty pretty intuitive way to search something up i mean it's it's fairly standard the only thing you have to do is remember to at least have one of these clicked um and then if you click a damage like if you click one of these damages you have to actually have one of the damage classes or flat percent clicked so let's say um and then you can actually look up all of your sets like i just put the absolution set away so we can search it up and hear all my copies of it um <clears throat> So you can also, like, Adornments of Valiance, I have pretty much it all. You know, I should really stop picking this set up now that I'm looking at it. <laughs> so yeah, you can look through all your sets like this. I have the two Barrow Masters things, so yeah. Um, you can do straight up looking for sets like that. Or let's say we're looking for um, a Caster Dagger that's got flat Aether damage. Search. So we got Spell Weaver, Warp Fire... Um, Aether Ritual Blade of the Void because you can also throw your greens in here and Enchanter's Ritual Blade of the Aether and we could like if we want say same thing but chaos we search and there's all sorts of chaos stuff I have floating around in my database so it's pretty it's pretty simple once you get used to it this can be a little confusing when you're doing it live but you could also if you want to be safe just close Grim Dawn and do all your transferring and reload the game um, but yeah, you can do it with the game on. Just make sure you don't have your stash open in-game. So your character transfer stuff. Um, you come over here and pick a character. I'm going to go grab James, the sorcerer that I play as the Aether Ray character. And it takes a second. That's his stash. You can then copy all of the character stuff into your... Um, Copy all your character stuff into your database if you so desire. Um, I'm obviously not going to do that because I actually like having my characters organized like that. And it functions exactly the same. If your game is live, you can move this stuff over and then hit reload. Um, for character stashes, I'd probably say uh, don't do it as live. Like at least exit the character into the main menu and then go do it. Um, just to be safe. So crafting is sort of the big controversial thing. So crafting, let's say we'll do cert, a search and um, we'll just look up absolution. So this is how I, I basically cheated for that one video. Because we could, if we want, come in here and let's look up actually, uh, let's say Wrath of Aggravex, the new uh, Calidor's Tempest set. So this is the set essentially. And then all you would do is just plop all the items in the stash and then hit Pop in there uh, and then hit save stash and now I have the four items in my my inventory um, however we're not actually going to um, we're not actually gonna do that um, and you can you can look up pretty much any item in the game um, and you can actually do crafting for these like legitimately craft up a new item let's do our damage flat aether and search and if you look, we get Ritual Blade, Sacrificial Knives, Warp Fire, Spell Weaver, and the Legion Aether Sparks are in here. And I actually think it's kind of interesting that there are three levels of of these things. Because um, I think only the Legion, the level 51, and the level 71 are actually in-game. But yeah, this is where we can actually get kind of uh, 
really, really cheaty with this. So let's say we want... We want to cheat in a ridiculous item. Um, so let's go to the Ritual Blade. We can actually do, like, say... Um, an Aether Fire Ritual Blade of... Annihilation. Let's do the A stuff. And we got that. And we can actually just plop it into our inventory. Um, hit save stash. And if I were to load up the game right now, this thing would be in there with its randomly rolled stats. Um, so yeah, you can actually get really, really crazy with the cheating. Oh yeah, and you can put your blacksmith bonuses on it if you want. Uh, completion bonuses don't work, obviously. Oh, and you can actually put for, uh, and this is where you can actually get really, really cheaty. So, um, we'll clear the settings, because if you go to, um, quest items and just search them up, uh, ever need an infinite amount of, say, ancient hearts? Well, I mean, we could just easily put 100 ancient hearts into our inventory if we really wanted to. I mean, we don't, so we're not gonna do that. But yeah, the this is your big old cheat window. And yes, I'm showing everyone how to cheat, because I keep getting asked about it. It has a character editor as well. If we load up our cheated guy, um, I pretty much went in with this guy and did a thousand, thousand, thousand on his physique, cunning, and spirit. And you can, you can put all your riffs in that you want. Like obviously, this guy doesn't have anything really. You put all your shrines in. Just check off your shrines. Do your uh, reputation. Tweak your stats. You can really, really cheat hard with this program. Not that I actually say go and cheat hard, but you can actually cheat really, really hard with it. Um, and finally, collection. So if we... Let's just hit all items and search. This is basically going to look at your database. It's going to probably take a second to uh, load up here. As you can see, it has missing, found, and all items. And this is basically... Um, it's going to load up the game's items and it's gonna say whether or not I have them in my uh, in my database my personal database say I have an exalted visage and softcore I have an imperial coronet floating around in here somewhere softcore yeah now we look at the empowered stuff oh yeah what the hell is the triumvirate we should probably look at that in the database Outer Keeper's Cast. Yeah, so I don't have an Empowered Berserker's Cowl. Yeah, I, I have... Hmm... I have a lot of... I do have a Stormcaller circuit, uh, Circlet on a character. See, I actually go out of my way to take these things out of... Out of my database. So some of them are missing, even though I know I have them floating around on characters. Yep, so this is how you can see if you've actually picked up a thing or not from that set. From, uh, from the game. And I'm just basically showing everyone how what crap I've picked up in the game and put in this database thing. Um, and then, yeah, there's a mass important configuration. So that is a Grim Dawn stash, GD stash. It is a really, really, really handy program for... Um, managing the items in this game since you only really have four, four pages technically to work with for a transfer stash and if you're anything like me you end up with a page like this that is just all components um, and yeah you can cheat components if you want to cheat components um, but uh yeah I use it I use it primarily for for its database, for its item database, um, transferring. And I've only ever really cheated it like I showed before, where I'm like, I need to do something editorial. I'll go do something editorial. In fact, I think that's the only major time I've ever cheated this thing. So that was a trip. But hey, I can explain it now. So thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video for what it is. Um, have fun cheating at Grim Dawn, and I will see you guys next time.